So thank you very much. We're talking to TNT Sports Brazil. So how good is this result? I think if, let's talk about the performance first. I think it was a very good game, um, a very intense game, with a with a result that. Um, yeah, I think that we deserved to win. Uh, I think it was a period where we've been a bit lucky, but we created good opportunities. Uh, we showed some good stuff. And now we're taking a small, tiny advantage into the second leg. Nothing less, nothing more. Um, but I think it was a very, very good performance from our side. So the man of the match was Hummels. So does that mean that the attacking of the PSG was uh, was stopped by you and maybe you're going you're gonna to have to do that again? Mats, Mats did a fantastic job. He played a brilliant game, but uh, to stop PSG and that quality, it's not enough that one centre-back performs well. It was a very good team performance in terms of keeping them away from the goal. Um, so I think that Mats deserves it, but also the boys around him deserves a lot of credit. And I have to ask you about the fans, because, I mean, we know about the stadium, we know it's fantastic, but today it was really, really important for the results of the game. Very important. Um, everybody knows about it, but it's different if you feel it. And I think everybody felt this kind of energy. And uh, they, 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 they pushed up up, uh, up front. They gave us belief. They gave us the, the kind of resilience that you need in this period for, from the 45th until the 60th minute. And they did a fantastic job. Um, everybody was in yellow. Uh, they, they created the yellow wall on the stands. We created the yellow wall on the pitch. And now we're going to bring yellow people and yellow fans to Paris next week. And then we hope we can finish the job. So I need to ask you about Paris. What can you say for us that we can expect from this Dortmund in Paris? Yeah, we, we, we know that we want to win, also the second leg, but we need a draw. That's, that's the story. But, but if we go there and say, ah, the draw is enough, no chance, no chance. With this quality, with this kind of power play, they can finish the job. And, and you saw it against Barcelona, for example, against a very high profile team. Within minutes, they are just finishing the game. And so we need to be on our toes. We need to be ready. Um, it's going to be a different game. It's going to be a different story. But we need to be ready for everything. If they want to play, we're going to play. If, we're, if they want to fight, we're going to fight. That's, that's what we're going to do, because we want to go to Wembley. You're welcome. Yeah, and thank you very much for these moments with TNT Sports uh, Mexico. How does it feel to win in the Champions League in this stadium against PSG? Yeah, it's a good feeling as well. I think we, uh, we played well, you know, we gave everything. The fans were amazing, like always. But I think, uh, yeah, good 1-0. But also, we had a lot of chances to, to even come more in front, you know, but the next, game, the next time we will, we will finish that chances, of course, but now we win the game. But still have to focus uh, another game in Paris to focus on, you know. So we, we'll be happy today, but we we'll still focus on the next game. And how about you? Six months ago, do you think that you were playing in the semi-final in the Champions League and also winning against PSG? No, it's crazy, you know. Um, yeah. I think I'm still living the dream, but now we're here. Uh, we still have 90 minutes to play in Paris, so we are ready for it. The last one, next next week. How do we, do you imagine that game? Yeah, of course they they have to come. They are playing their own own stadium. The pressure is on them, you know. So we have to continue on our game, and hopefully um, we uh, get the win there. Of course, you know. Thank you. Thank you.